Hello Libra. Libra, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that the divine has for you today. As we're getting our cards, please remember that these readings are general and to take what is resonating with you, leaving behind anything that is not for you. The first message that is coming up for you, Libra, the divine is saying that there are some new exciting chapters that are going to be opening up for you. I really see you as someone who's been working really hard. I really see you as someone who's been showing up and it just feels like it's been taking time for your blessings, for your new beginnings, for your happy endings to start showing up. And the divine is saying, don't give up now because there are some good new things that are on the horizon for you. So Libra, that is good news. Let's get the message that is here next. As you can see, the divine wants you to understand that karma is going to be coming and handling situation for you. It is going to be important for you to focus on the new beginnings that are here and to let go of anything that has come in the past as in a way that was disappointing, that was hurtful, that was maybe unexpected. Maybe you've just experienced people tripping you up. Maybe you've just experienced people hating on you, people gossiping on you, and you didn't understand because you're the type of person who shows up for people. You're the type of person who's helpful to people. And so you don't understand when people bring the energy of wanting to hurt you, of talking about you, of backstabbing. So the divine is saying to you that your guides and your ancestors have noticed and karma is going to come and handle the situation at the right time. For you, it is important for you to focus on the new beginnings that are here because the divine is saying it is time for you to get excited. It is time for you to forget the, the pain that you've experienced. It is time for you to forget this because for you, like I already told you, there are new beginnings that are starting to show on the horizon. There are new beginnings that are starting to happen for you in the background. And so this is why the divine is saying, get excited because there are new beginnings that you have been really working hard on, how you have been showing up. You couldn't see what was cooking. You couldn't see what was manifesting, but you still showed up. You still paid attention to your future. You still understood that there had to be something better that was on the horizon even though you experienced disappointment after disappointment, the divine has really appreciated that you didn't give up. Even though you got tripped up, even though you fell over one, two, three, ten times, you didn't give up. For some of you, it could literally be that you've experienced disappointments when you wanted to get pregnant. You've experienced disappointments when you wanted to bring forth new beginnings. But you didn't give up. You knew deep down in your heart and in your soul that there had to be something that was in the background that was going to bring good news towards you. So it is important for you to understand that finally things are starting to bring blessings. So let's have a look to see what our tarot cards have to say and how they are wanting to elaborate on the messages that are on the table. As usual, I always take this opportunity to let you know the services that I offer. I do cord cutting ceremonies. I do banishing ceremonies. I do return to sender ceremonies. If you are experiencing people gossiping, people hurting you, this could be the ceremonies that you need. I do cord cutting ceremonies to release you from the past, to release you at least your energies from people, places, and situations that no longer serve you. So everything that I offer is linked in the description box below. Go to my website, be curious, and have a look around to see what is there. And for those of you who are wanting to learn tarot, the tarot course, which is really in-depth, it took me four years to work on this course, is also available on my website and you really love that course because it will take you from being a beginner all the way to being a professional. So now we have our tarot cards on the table and I love the energies that are here. The energies that are here are incongruent with what our oracle cards have to say. So remember I said to you, you were showing up, okay? You were working, you were not giving up. And you can see the energies of the eight of pentacles indicates that 
you experienced a lot of disappointments. You still showed up. You still understood that there was something good that was coming. The Eight of Pentacles shows that it took time as indicated by the moons that are here. But the Divine is saying there is a new cycle that is on the horizon. There is a new beginning that is going to be bringing forth the happy endings that we spoke about the new chapters that we spoke about, the energies of the Eight of Pentacles is the energies of the Apprentice. So it's almost like you are practicing for your new beginning. You are practicing and showing up because you understood that blessings, manifestations, anything worth having takes time. So the Divine is saying, get ready, okay? Because like you can see, we've got eight moons that are here and we've got a pregnant lady and we know that it takes nine months for that baby to show up in most cases. So there are eight moons that are here, nine months that are here. And the divine is saying, as you can see, the energy that is here is telling you that next month you're going to be seeing new beginnings. You're going to be seeing new chapters. You are going to be having your happy ending finally show up. So I really like that you have the energies of the eight of pentacles there and not only do you have eight of pentacles, you also have the energies of the queen of pentacles. So whatever it is that you've been working on, it's going to pay off financially. It's going to pay off on your health because, of course, your health is connected to your wealth. If you're sick, if you're not able to manifest what it is that you want because of health situations, it sucks. But the divine is saying there are new beginnings connected to your health, connected to your money. As I already told you, you were showing up, you were working, you didn't give up. And the payback is now on the horizon. And not only that, we can see that your happy ending is going to be really paying off big time. Because you've received the energies of the world card, which is a major kind of card. The world card is the last major arcana card. So it indicates that there is a successful completion to a chapter and a new beginning that is on the horizon. So the divine is confirming to you that you worked hard and now the new beginnings confirmed by the energies of the world card is going to be happening for you. So that's why the divine is saying lift up your energies Get excited because new beginnings are starting to show. New beginnings are blossoming and blooming in the background. You have planted your seeds and you waited diligently for your seeds to grow, to blossom. And now it is time to reap the rewards of your hard work. It is time to eat from the fruits that you planted, from the trees that you planted. So the divine is saying to you, it is important for you to understand the message that is here. And it is important for you to get excited because life is about to finally deliver happy endings after disappointment, after disappointment, after disappointment. You're now putting an end to this karmic cycle and bringing forth a new beginning that sees you feeling happy, that fills you with joy and gratitude. So this is the message that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification. And in the comment section below, comment with an emoji of your choice that shows your joy, happiness, and gratitude to what is coming towards you right now. So for those of you who are doing our quantum leap ritual, let's go and do that now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. 
on every reading. Please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and hum to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory so we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused 
the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement, and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation. Because remember, by giving, you open up your hands to receiving. Ashe.